Welcome to Groupman's Reviews. Today we're looking at a Wi-Fi range extender. These are really good if you have slow Wi-Fi in parts of your house. These are really helpful. This also has an Ethernet port, so you could wire your gaming console or your TV. You will notice a huge difference. As you can see, dual band and it has an Ethernet port, as I mentioned before. The 2.4 gigahertz, that covers a far range. That's good for like security cameras. Five gigahertz, it's a shorter range, but it's strong. It can handle up to 20 devices. Just a quick look at the packaging, 1200 megabits per second. It connects up really easy, WPS. You don't need to run a cable through this to your router. The only reason you'd need to do that if you want to run this in access point mode. If you're using this for your mobile phone or your tablet, I'd recommend use the 5G because that's a lot stronger. At the time of recording, this is on Amazon for just under 36 pounds and they have a three pound coupon code. I'll link it down below if you want to pick it up. I've also reviewed other extenders and boosters on my channel. I'll link them down in the description box and in the iCard if you want to watch them reviews. And remember, if you find the video useful, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below and subscribe to watch more reviews. So this is what you get inside the box. This is an earlier model, so you might not get this card in uh, every box you get, but for now it's included. It's been up to £100 Amazon card. Instruction booklet. And then the actual extender, nothing else inside the box. Just feel good quality. At the front, the branding, that's the light indicator there. WPS button, that's the first way we're going to be pairing it up. That's what it looks like on the top. It has two antennas that go up till there. That's for better reception. That's what it looks like from there. At the bottom, he has a reset. That's the internet port. So if you're going to pair this up with a gaming console, I suggest run it wired ra rather than Wi-Fi. You'll notice a big difference. At the back, because I'm in the UK, it has a three pin adapter. Okay, let's plug it in and then we'll set it up. Plug it into the socket. The light is solid red at the moment. It's gonna start blinking after a minute. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the WPS button on my router. And then within one minute, I'm going to push the WPS button on this. Just initializing a bit. As you can see, that started blinking. I'm going to push the WPS button on my router. When you do the first setup, you've got to have the extender close to the router. Once they're paired up, then you could move the extender to where you have poor signal. And remember, it's got to be where you have poor signal. If you have no signal at all, these are not good for you then. Then look into power line adapters. I've pushed the WPS button on my router. I've come straight here and I push it on this, hold it for a few seconds. Going to still keep there, it's blinking fast now, let's try to pair up. As you can see, it's green now, it's ready to use. So there we are, it's bought the Booster 5G, Netgear, AX12, EXT, that's the 2.4G. Just click on this one. The password, that's the same password that's on your existing router. I'll just quickly put that in off camera. Connecting. It's connected. The 5G is connecting now. Maybe that's connected as well. So the Netgear AX1200 is supposed to be 12,000 but I don't know why I wrote 1200. That's my router network. Then the Netgear EXT is the 2.4G. The Booster 5G, even though we're close, I'll run a quick speed test. I'll just show you one second. Okay, let me just go back on that. Yeah. Maybe if I just go. Remember, this is on the 2.4G, which isn't that strong. This is good for far range, and I'm not that far at the moment, but wow. That's not bad, that. I'm on a 300 down, and I think it's 36 up.
There we are, 188 down and 29.4 up, which is not bad. Now that fully set up, put it wherever there's poor Wi-Fi in the house. Okay, what I'll do is I'll get a little pin and I'll reset the extender and then we'll set it through the web browser. So that it started blinking and it's brought both of them up. If you see there, it's brought up the booster 2.4G and booster 5G. But they're not connected at the moment. So if I long press this, connect to network, I'll go to manage network settings where it says manage router so if you're using a laptop you need to put this in your browser 192.168.2.1 if i click on that it's brought us to the new extender setup page i already have a username and a password because i set it up before so i'm quickly going to put that in off camera so the next page it's brought me to the smartest network device device type and it's saying AP mode or extender mode. AP mode, as I mentioned at the start of the video, that is an access point mode. I will need to run an ethernet cable from the extender to my router, but I'm not doing that at the moment. I'm doing the extender mode. I click on that. It's brought up the 2.4G or 5G. Let's click on the 2.4 for now. Then we click on wireless scanner. give it a moment it's brought two networks up it says select a primary network mine is the netgear so we're on this page now it's in primary network 2.4 g settings so primary network netgear x12 primary network password i'll need to put that in the bottom there i'll just quickly do that off camera now this password it's the password for your existing network, not the password you created when it asked you for a name and a password. That's for logging. So, like I've just logged in again and I put them details in, but this password is asking for, this is your existing network's password. I'll quickly put that in. The extender is connected to the router and it's obviously saying if it's solid red, uh, it's not connected properly. If it's orange, that means it's too far. And if it's green, it's perfect. That is green. So we are fully connected. Now I could, again, as I said before, I could remove that from there and connect it somewhere where there's poor Wi-Fi. So if I just go to the Wi-Fi button, if I click on the Wi-Fi, let's put both of them up. 5G EXT and 2.4G EXT. We've used this extender to extend our Wi-Fi range. We've also used it wired on our PlayStation. Link in the description box below. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section below. Subscribe to watch more reviews. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video.